Hey there people of YouTube. Uh, so as I said before in a previous video, getting some recovery bits put into the house to help me with my uh, recovery from the tricep. Uh, and today that first bit is kind of turning up. So I managed to get hold of a uh, hyperbaric chamber. So anyone who's kind of followed Strongman for a while, especially Eddie, will know he loves a hyperbaric chamber. Uh, and I've managed to find a company, uh, Henshaws, uh, to send me a chamber that I'm renting off them for a little while. Um, so I'll be able to use it multiple times a day if I need to, but definitely every day. Uh, so that's getting delivered today, and we're going to put that in the annex. So yeah, let's get it in, and I'll give you a little tour of uh, what it is and how I'm going to use it. Okay guys, we've got it set up here. Uh, we managed to set up in the annex, we've got a little annex off the back of our house, very fortunate of that. So it's pretty much turned into my recovery suite at the moment. Uh, we've got your oxygen compressor there. You've got the compressor to pressurize this chamber. A um, little bit different from probably ones you've seen before. Um, a lot of the guys might have a, a solid chamber. I mean, I think Eddie had to take the window of his house out to put that one in, not a problem with this. Um, one of the things with the soft soft cell ones or uh, soft material ones is obviously they don't get to the same high pressures as the solid ones. Uh, they still get to just over 1.5, I think this one goes to, um, which is plenty enough for the, the purpose of recovery. Uh, you've got your oxygen line in there. Uh, it's got a quadruple zip system, and I can operate this from inside as well, which is great. Little seat in there. You've got your oxygen line hooked up as well. Uh, and yeah, you've got the dials on the outside. But what we'll do is we'll just kind of get this uh, turned on, pressurized up so you can see what it looks like when it's kind of fully inflated. Uh, and then yeah, we'll talk through some more stuff there. So that's kind of filling up guys, I thought we'd just talk through obviously why I've got it and, and how it's gonna help. Um, obviously with injury, everything's a little bit slower, especially kind of wound healing, etc., and then getting that tendon to graft. And, and obviously I'm having the, the tricep tendon put back onto the bone. Um, so I need that to heal strongly, especially the amount of um, force I'm gonna end up putting through this tricep. So, you know, for me, it was kind of a no brainer to, to invest in myself and get this for a couple of months um, to, to help with my recovery. Um, so the idea is from various studies they found, obviously uh, having a higher concentration of oxygen being consumed while in a pressurized environment really does help a massive amount on reducing inflammation uh, new capillarization, getting blood to uh, peripheral muscles and, and, and tissues that it would not normally happen. So think of it like kind of a pressure cooker at home, right? So you cook stuff in your oven, it takes a certain amount of time. If you cook something in under pressure, it takes a lot less time. Uh, pressure cookers, cookers are super, super quick. So that's, that's the principle uh, behind it. So, you know, you spend like I spend about an hour each day in there minimum, uh, once it's up to pressure. Um, and that should helpfully uh, sorry hopefully you know speed up my recovery time quite a bit so that's the goal um, that's why i've got it and and I'll, obviously i'll report back my kind of findings but we'll go and see if it's uh, it's fully up to pressure yet and see if it's into its kind of fully fully formed state okay guys that's kind of half half up to pressure i'm not going to take it all the way up so i'm not going to jump in it tonight um not yet i'm just going to kind of uh, get sort of fed in and then use it on some back from surgery but yeah, you can see the kind of shape it's taken now, obviously when it's all pumped up and it's all pressurized. Uh, so we're at halfway there. There we go, go up another half as well. Um, so yeah, that's the setup. Uh, looks pretty cool. Obviously, like I said, options coming in the blue tube. Uh, the compressor there is pumping the air in to pressurize it. Uh, it's a little bit of a weird sensation, you know, when you get in there, it's kind of like your ears are popping um, to start off with as it gets to pressure. But I can operate this all by myself as well. So yeah, let's turn this compressor off. I can actually have a word with you. So you actually, um, you know, you can operate this completely inside. So with the, the dials here, you can actually open that slightly now, let the air out. But the dials are inside as well. Um, so I can completely operate inside. The tricky bit is obviously getting in and kind of 
zipped up and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully I can manage that with one arm. Um, but I'll show you guys when we, when we get to that. Um, so yeah, this is my setup. Hopefully it's going to speed up my recovery. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, you know, I'm going to try and bring as much as I can in this rehab process. Hope you guys are along. Uh, if you are interested in picking up a hyperbaric chamber, please make sure you check out Henshaws in the UK um, and they will help you out. I think you guys are really helpful and delivered it super quick for me. Obviously got it here before the surgery uh, while I've still got two arms to kind of get bedded in with it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.